Quiz IQ Basic Training, Module 211, your chat box. Okay, now, let's, this whole area is the chat box. Let's pop that out so that we can look at it right in the center of the screen. And I'm going to use a pointing tool to help draw your attention. Right now you see the word saying chat all. That means that anyone is allowed to chat. We're going to look at a few of these functions. You have the ability to copy the chat box information into a file if you wish. And we have a disable all. Now, um, let's say that I gave, and we'll get into this in a moment, I, I am making channel one, the other person in the classroom, an assistant. And they're writing things for me and keeping track of things and helping me. When I click disable all, okay, only I can use the chat box. Um, now I am in control. <laughs> and I send. Now, I, this is, I'm going to show you another window now. This is, whoops, where is it at? There it is. <laughs> this is the other, of view, when someone's attending and they can see and look. There's, they cannot chat in here. So let's go back to this other one. And we'll look at both of them at the same time and see what happens. Okay. Now, if I give them... Hmm, they were supposed to be able to type in there. Anyway, uh, theoretically, when that person had writing control, they should be able to use the chat box. But I'm not sure why that's not going on or not. Let's give them the microphone and see what happens. No, that doesn't help them at all. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> okay. Now, um, I can enable them all again and then look over here. Now they get their own chat box so that they can chat, chat also. Hi, teacher. How are you? Now, as both me and everyone First of all, in a private class, oh, that's how they can do it. Okay, so sh they can use, they can text privately, which I hate. They can also change their font size. That's almost like yelling. They can change the color. Sometimes that's helpful if people use different colors so you can recognize who's typing. And they can put an emotion in there, a little emoticon. And let's look back at our teacher's view of things. And we see that their messages are coming through also. Now, there are some differences between a private class and a public class, and I forget what those are, but you can look into that further. Uh, we can also collapse this. One of the things that you're going to find, some people are very distracted about the chat box. We probably should talk a little bit more about that, but not so much today. Depending on how you wish to conduct your class, you can shut down the chat box. You can direct them to minimize how much they're talking. Some people just come in to chat. Personally, I don't mind that. It's, it tells me that I need to be more interesting. But um, sometimes you're using the chat box to conduct a game and for the um, people to put their answers in the um, chat box for the game. So you can actually stop the chat and see they lost their ability you can enable it when you want them to be able to answer the questions. So there are functionalities here that you can use. And um, I think that's about it. Um, I find that when um, people complain about what's going on in the chat box, I simply show them. I go into screen sharing, and we'll look at that later, and I show them how they can minimize the chat box. If you're not using the chat box, and it's distracting people, then just tell them to minimize it. Then they are not bothered by it. Um, certainly, some behavior is inappropriate in the chat box. That's why it's always nice to have an assistant who can, maybe a lead student, who can monitor what's going on and let you know when things are getting out of line. All right, so that's it basically for the chat box. Not that much there, but it's a very powerful tool if you get used to using it.